A Houston area fifth grader has been selected as the new reporter for Scholastic Kids Press Program. It's an international team of 28 kid reporters focused on news for kids by kids. Student reporter Kush Kolra is here to talk about his new role. How exciting is this? Yeah, I'm very excited to you, be a part of this. You be, you're able to put kid reporter in front of your name now. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to do with your platform? Um, oh, I want to educate kids. It's my most important goal. I want to create news and uh, interview and report about topics that will help kids learn. And I want to cover issues that will help kids know things and help kids grow their minds. What piqued your interest uh, to get into journalism? Well, first, my kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Garibaldi, told me about this opportunity, and I immediately got to work on my application. I created a article about banning books, and I interviewed my kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Garibaldi, and my fourth grade teacher, Miss Halleck, and I created an article, created an essay on why I wanted to be a Scholastic Kid Reporter, and I also came up with some ideas on why I wanted to be a Scholastic Kid Reporter. That is so awesome. You know, you and I have something in common. My my love for journalism also started around fifth grade and it was my fifth grade teacher Mrs. Carter who delegated different roles within the classroom uh, for us students to participate in every day and my role was to be reporter anchor so that's when I started watching the news before I went to school when I got home off the school bus I would run inside and put the news back on and so that's where my interest came do you have a favorite journalist my favorite journalist is David Muir. He covers world news, and I watch it almost every night with my mom and sometimes my whole entire family. And I like him a lot because he covers global issues, not just local issues around me. And recently they have shown issues about um, the Ukraine-Russia war and the Israel war, and it just shows to be grateful. And yeah. I think that's what I look for in the news. He's on another network, so we're not going to say anything. We, we need to get you to tune in to Lester Holt. <laughs> um, okay, anything you want to say to any student watching right now who might want to pursue their passion in whatever uh, occupation it might be in? I would say just try and go for it. Look for different opportunities and different ways that you can hone your talent. And just try to really put a lot of effort into your talent. I love that you're here with us this morning. We're also going to bring Susan McCabe into this conversation. She is the Scholastic Kids Press Editor. Susan, thank you so much for uh, joining us this morning. Thank you, it's great to be here. I'm Suzanne. Suzanne, I apologize. The moment I said it, I was wondering if it was Suzanne. I apologize. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. You must be so proud of him. I truly am. He's the best. I can't wait to see what he does this year. For parents watching right now, for children watching right now, uh, listening, who might be interested in applying to become a kid reporter, how do they go about doing so? First of all, keep an eye on the news and maintain your curiosity about the world. And then in the early spring, we will open the application process up for the next school year. And we ask all applicants to write a sample article and to submit two story ideas. Suzanne, are there any requirements more than what you just mentioned these students need to, uh, to hone in order to apply to be part of this Scholastic Kids Press? Reading, writing, interviewing, critical thinking are all great skills to cultivate, and you need to be between the ages of 10 and 14. 10 and 14. Have any of your student reporters, your kid reporters, gone on to pursue uh, careers in journalism? Yes, several have. We currently have a star kids press alum at Politico. We have kids in college and high school newspapers across the country. I love that. I love that. And that within itself just shows that this program truly helps these students become journalists. Absolutely. We're very proud of all of them. I can't wait to see what Kush does. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show this morning. We will be sure to put all of this information inside an article on our website. That's clicktohouston.com. Suzanne, thank you. And thank, thank you, you, sir. I appreciate you coming on the show this morning. Thank you so you, much. You're off to school now? No, we actually have the day off. Oh, today. look at you, starting the weekend early. <laughs> yeah. Good for you.